Hey, what's up, my people? I go by the name of Morasu Letsualo, also known as Elastic Soul Shaker. Today, I want to talk to you about obedience, obeying God. You know, all your life, you've been chasing this thing. You've been chasing this thing for all of these years. To an extent that you've made it your master. You've made it your God. And the Bible says you cannot serve two masters. You need to choose one. So I, I'd rather we serve God than to serve this thing that we, we, we think that we are supposed to do. Because now, where's the glory of God in all of that? Because we end up taking the glory. That's why you find so many people like to take credit and say, I'm self-made. I don't want to say I'm self-made. I'm God-made. Because God made it possible for me to get that thing. God made it possible for me to have the life that I'm living today. You know? So I'm not self-made. I'm God-made. So this affects me as well, people. I don't want you to say I'm out here giving out motivation and I don't practice it in life. This, as I'm recording this video right now, I'm also speaking to myself. I'm also speaking to myself. You know? Sometimes... We, we, we think that we are supposed to do something and, and we neglect all the other gifts, all other talents that God gave us. We're focusing on one thing because we think that is what we're supposed to do. God gave us many gifts. God gave us many talents. We need to use all of those talents and not focus only on one because we've made it our master. We have accomplishments. We have things that we, we, we got out of this thing you know so we need to focus on all of these other gifts that we're given and and you, you need to be humble humility you need to serve others that's when you, you 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 you'll get to see that you'll be giving god glory in your life you'll be giving god glory you can't be taking all the credit in your life you can't be taking all the credit because god made it possible for you to have that life so now I believe that if there's something that you've been wanting to do, but you don't want to do it because you think that your feelings are not attached to that thing. Now you're focusing on only one thing that you think you are supposed to do, but you don't want to explore because you think now I don't love that thing. I don't like that thing. I just want to be this. Doesn't work like that, my people. Doesn't work like that. That way, that's where the word sacrifice comes in. You need to sacrifice your life. You need to let go of your life so that God can give you a new life. That he's taking charge of. That he's the master of. Let God lead your life. Let God bring blessings to you. Don't want to take charge of your life and, 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 and act as if you are responsible for the blessings that you are getting in your life. Give God the glory. Let them drive the car. Let them drive the car. Give God the glory. Because now if you surrender your life and you let God take charge, you'll be surprised of the blessings you'll be getting. You'll be shocked. Now we hold that capability of us becoming great human beings because now we are we are attached to this one thing we are attached to this one thing so guys let's sacrifice sacrifice is never easy sacrifice is never easy but god says whoever sacrifices life for me he shall be given glory so now people my word to you is that Whatever you want to do, I ask yourself this question, is God getting the glory out of this? Am I doing God's will? Because it's better to live out your purpose than to live out your potential. It's better to live out your purpose than to live out your potential. So let's obey God and sacrifice. Cheers. See you next time. Peace out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon. Check you out.